Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions. Today, in our third example of Coulomb's Law, we are calculating the net force. Okay, we are calculating the net force. So, we are calculating the net force on... on um, let me highlight it. So, this is the net force that we are calculating. This is the net force on charge Q2 due to the other two charges, which are charge 1 and charge 3. Okay, so we are told that charge 1 is positive 2 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And charge 2 is positive 1 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Whereas charge 3 is negative 3 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. The distance between charge 1 and charge 2 or object 1 and object 2 is 2 centimeters. And the distance between object 2 and 3 is 4 centimeters. So let's get into it and answer the questions. So let me say first and first, let's look at um, the electrostatic force between charge 1 and charge 2. So I'm going to call it F12. Okay. I'm going to call it F12, which will be K, or maybe before that, let me do this. Let me say charge 1 is positive 2 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Object 2 is positive 1 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And object 3 is negative 3 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Distance between object 1 and 2 is 2 centimeters. Remember, 2 centimeters is basically equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 2. Okay? And then, let me also say, charge, uh, sorry, distance between object 2 and object 3 is 4 centimeters, which is basically 4 times 10 to the negative 2. Right? So, without any waste of time, let's get into it. First thing first, we're going to look at the electrostatic force between object 1 and 2. Okay? Or, so, or sphere 1 and 2. So, this will be, let me write it as F sub 1, 2, which is K Q1 Q2 over R sub 1, 2 squared. Okay? So what is it? Our K is 9 times 10 to the 9. Q1 is 2 times 10 to the negative 19. Negative 19. Q2 is 1 times 10 to the negative 19. Right? <clears throat> the distance between them is... 2 times 10 to the negative 2 all squared. Remember guys, this is basically 2 divided by 100, which is 0, 0,02. While well, this will be 0, 0,04. It's up to you if you convert it uh, straight away or you substitute it like I did here. Okay? All right. Now, let's find our answer. This is... 9 2 times 10 to the negative 19 1 times 10 to the negative 19 all over 0, 0,02 squared okay <clears throat> so our answer here is 4,5 Let me fix this. Our answer is 4,50 times 10 to the negative 25 newtons. Now, there's something that I want you to, there's something that I want you to pay attention to here. These are like charges. So if they are like charges, Q1 cannot go to the right. Q2 cannot go to the left. 
but since they are like charges, basically Q1 will be going this way, while Q2 will be going this way because they are repelling each other. So this will be um, the direction of um, the force on Q2. Okay, Q2 will be moving to the right with respect to Q1. Okay, it will be, it will be moving to the right with respect to Q1 because they are repelling each other. Okay. Now let's look at now let's look at the force uh, F sub two three, meaning we're looking at objects two and three. Okay, when we're looking at object two and three. What do we have? We have, let's see, um, it's still uh, 9 times 10 to the 9. We said Q2 was 1 times 10 to the negative 19. And we said Q3 was what? Q3 was 3 times 10 to the negative 19. And the distance between them was in fact, four centimeters. So it was four centimeters, right? Which is zero comma zero four, right? So let's get our answer. Okay. All right. When you have your answer, we get one comma. 6 9 times 10 to the negative 25 newtons okay so where is it going we can say this one by the way this one here it was repulsive so it was going to the left i think i should have said right sorry not left i should have said here it's right it's okay to also mention this thing of saying right Okay, it's an attractive force, we know that, but you can also say it's going to the right, it's okay. Okay, and this one here, it's an, sorry, this was repulsive, so it was going to the right. Now, with this two, uh, two and three, as you can see, charge two is positive, charge three is negative. So there is attraction between the two. Uh, let me use a different color. There is an attraction between the two. So it will go to the right, right? So yeah, it will go to the right and even charge three will. So because there's attraction, charge three will be going to the left and then object two will be going to the right. So this is force of what? Force of two, three, all right? And of course, this is also force of two, three, right? Because there's attraction between the two, they uh, somehow one is going to the right, one is going to the left, which one is going to the left? Object three, object two is going to the right. Okay, so now, as you can see, you have force F12 and force F23. So this therefore says you must find your resultant. Okay, you must find your resultant. Therefore, F net is equal to F12 plus F23. And because both are going in the same direction, what will we say? We will say we have 4,5 times, oh, this is minus 25. 4,50 times 10 to the negative 25 plus 1,69 times 10 to the negative 25 newtons. Okay. I'm saying this because they are going, I'm adding them because they are going in the same direction. Okay. So what is this? This is now, um, let me say plus previous answer. So we get six comma, yeah, indeed it is six comma one nine. Yeah. Six comma one nine times 10 to the minus 25 newtons where? we can say to the right, okay? It's okay to say to the right. So we have calculated um, the net force and its direction. So the net force on Q2 due to the other two charges, okay? The net force on Q2 due to the other two charges is 
6,19 times 10 to the 25 newtons to the right. Okay, guys, this is how you look at your question when they ask you to look for the net force. Okay, with that being said, it's a wrap and see you next time. Bye-bye.